Suppose I'm dying. Suppose this afternoon, I wish, the Messiah comes and my will to receive dies. And then, there are powers that are working on me, called angels. They take my will to receive, my corrupted will to receive, in both hands, right and left, and elevate me on their wings, upwards, to the first, second, third firmaments, to the degrees of the Bina, where I start getting greater and greater attributes of bestowal. Those angels, they bring me to the skies, to the heavens, to the general attribute of Bina. There, I start to discover that above that, there is the king's palace, meaning the Bina which has already received the Malchut into it. Such qualities, the will to receive, that exists within the will to bestow, and inside that I discover godliness. What does it have to do with my body and with what I see in my five senses? You say that that which it says in the Zohar that happens after death doesn't happen. You don't have to have a bodily death for that. There is no connection between the two. Everything it says in the Zohar is said about the will to receive, which is against the Creator, and you correct it in order to bestow for it to be in favor of the Creator, and that's it. The wisdom of Kabbalah it doesn't talk about this world, it doesn't talk about corporeality, it doesn't talk about our tissue. What are you talking about? It's all only about the soul.